Okay, so there's the problem. As you can see, I've got an awful lot of stuff, lots and lots of bits and pieces, and the storage solutions aren't really there. There's mess everywhere. There's things chucked here. There's things chucked there. I cannot stand to work in this mess any longer. So I need a storage solution. And I guess the thing that I have got that will help me do that storage solution are my 3D printers. So I'm gonna have a look on the wonderful internet and see what I can find to make this storage uh, better. I cannot stand working any further in this man cave, this greedy 3D messy man cave. So let's see what we can do about it, shall we? Now, one of the biggest problems that I had was storage of paint. Uh, so I found this on the wonderful Thingiverse, and this is a file that will allow me to hang on the wall and also put a load of my Army Painter paints in there. Now, I use the Air Mega Set, and I've got shed loads of those, and they're just in a horrible wooden thing at the moment, and they're lying all over the place. This will allow me to be much more organised, and I'm going to print two of these to start with and pop them on the wall and see what that does for the storage space. So I've copied it across to Cura, and this is going to allow me to print 42 uh, paint holder pots in one go. And I'm going to print two of these and pop them on. The settings are standard settings, and thankfully there's no supports. Let's see the printing process. Now one of the good things with the Anycubic Viper is you don't have to level the bed. There's auto bed levelling, and it works an absolute dream. So no more fiddling with those knobs underneath the bed. And the other thing you'll find is the actual bed adhesion is amazing. I've had no issues, zero issues with bed adhesion. So let's get this thing going. It's probably going to take a couple of days to print, and uh, I'll show you it when it's all done. And just about two days later, voila, the first of the two batches done. Uh, printed absolutely beautiful, as I say, no supports, and it literally just popped off the bed. Wonderful.
So I've cleared all the junk away and I'm going to put my lovely new 3D printed paint holders up. I'm just going to choose the right height of these. Now the good thing with these is they interlock so I want to give myself enough room to put about three up. I've only printed two and I'm going to just choose the right height for them. Now you can also put some stuff on the top of them as well which I haven't done yet but I will. And it's just a case of screwing in two screws and they literally just slot into the screws as simple as that. And when they're in and when they're level, that's it, it's done. So I'm gonna put the next one up next to it. And as I say, it interlocks wonderfully and uh, that's up to, and I'm gonna hold probably about uh, nearly 90 paints in there and that's gonna take them all out of the way. Absolutely lovely. Next step now is to finish the rest of all the storage bits and pieces. So time to pop up a shelf. Oh blimey, thank God that's over. Um, and there we go, it's all clean, it's all tidy. That side of the man cave is now a little bit more organized. I've got somewhere for my paints. I've got a nice clear working space to do some cleaning of prints, to do some bits and pieces. There's some storage solutions there that I just picked up from places like Amazon and the local uh, DIY shops. There's my 3D printed paint holder and I am really, really pleased now. I've got some organization. I can paint, I can play, I can print, I can do my little bits and pieces in relative comfort. Next step of this man cave is to LED light it and I want to turn the other side into a little painting studio. So stay tuned for the other bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. 